welcome to BIOS Cloud Training Videos. In today's video, we are going to see how to configure a new network uh, for third party devices and Unibox. Third party devices that are supported on BIOS Cloud are devices like the Microtech, Cambium, Aruba, Ruckus, Cisco, Meraki, and many other uh, similar kind of third party uh, controllers or access points that BIOS supports. So first step when to create a new uh, network in the system uh, for any third, pa third party vendor uh, gateways or unibox is to go to the network management section. Click on the venues uh, to access the venue dashboard. The next step is to click on the venue uh, tab to see the list of venue. So before you add a network, you need to add a venue for that particular network. A venue is basically a location where this particular network will be installed. Let's take an example like we want to add a venue called Hotel Radisson. And from the authentication gateway, you have to select the type of the gateway you would like to add the venue for. For example, we have a Microtech installed at that particular hotel. So we'll select the Microtech gateway from the drop down list. Uh, please note that uh, there are several settings that you need to do on the Microtech. To view the settings, you can click on the View Setup Guide. The View Setup Guide will uh, go to our knowledge base. And from there, you can click on the Microtech uh, Configuration Guide to view the guide for the micro, how to set up the Microtech uh, Gateway to work with our BIOS Cloud. Please read through these instructions carefully before uh, you do the settings uh, on your Microtech. Now coming back to the virus cloud, you select the type of authentication gateway. The next step you need to select is the auth group. The auth group will uh, define the policies or the settings that are required for that particular authentication system. By default for every uh, account in virus, a default auth group is already created. The default auth group can be edited by the by the administrator as per his or her convenience. But there is always going to be a default auth group. Uh, you can you are free to create more auth groups by clicking on the profiles and then the auth profiles uh, section. Then you need to select the type of the site. That means what type of venue are you are trying to add. So in this case, we are adding a hotel. So you select the hotel from the drop down list. The next important step is to find out this particular hotel in a particular, uh, on the map. So for doing that, you type in the uh, name of that place uh, and select that from the drop down and click on the click enter. It will provide the list of all the locations that match with that particular text that you enter. In this case, we are selecting Paner Pune in India. So it will automatically select that and you are free to uh, choose another location as per your as per your requirements. Then the address and the latitude and longitude for that particular location will be automatically populated here. Once you have done this, you will go ahead and click on the submit button. A new uh, hotel radisson already exists. So let me So we are adding another name of the hotel called Hotel Carlson. The next step you need to do once you've added a venue is click on the network section. Under the network section, there is already an, a network that gets created automatically by default under this particular venue by the system. You, are, you can go and edit that particular venue, also that particular network as per your requirements. So here you can see when you click on the edit network uh, section, you can give the name of that particular, uh, change the name of that network. These things will be automatically populated. The next things you will find are a NAS ID, which is auto generated, a shared secret, which is auto generated, and then few other parameters. Some of these parameters are copied over from the uh, authentication profile that you have already selected, the default authentication profile. 
In this section, you also have an option to define the size of that particular network. That means you want to create a 200 concurrent user plan for that particular location. This, is, this particular plan will help our individual networks uh, bill you accordingly and will also restrict how many devices concurrently can connect to this particular network uh, 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 from, from, that, uh, from, from the captive portal. So the next steps are leave them as it is because the radius servers are configured and are designed to work with our, uh, with our system. The interim uh, interval is basically the configuration that is used to set up the time after which uh, the interim updates for every session is sent to the radius server. Generally, these settings are defined within the gateway or the access point configuration itself. Once you have done with the changes for the network, you can go ahead and save the network changes. So in this process, you, uh, we have added a new network to our system. Now, it is, uh, if, the, if you wish to change some of these default settings, you can either change the configuration from global to local. When you do that, it will allow you to make changes to some of these settings as per your convenience. Um, once uh, these, please note that if you make the local changes, then it will override the global changes. Um, so for here, for example, if any changes to the default profile will not affect this network. So you are free to now change the settings of this particular network as per your requirement. Uh, if, if you wish to use another auth profile, then you have to go and define a new auth profile under profile auth profiles. If you go in this section, you can click on the plus sign and define a new auth group. Once you have defined the auth group, you can click on, the, on this particular icon and go and edit a, uh, the, the auth profile for under that auth group. So in this case, we have created a new auth group called BGM Demo and you have added a profile in uh, called B BGM Demo for this particular network. I can go ahead and add another auth profile to this group and define the settings here. So this, in this way, you can define different auth profiles for uh, different uh, networks as per your convenience. It is generally recommended to use the default profile if you don't wish to make any changes to the auth group. Once uh, the network is added, uh, the next step for a third party gateway is to create a captive portal. When you create a new network, a default captive portal will be automatically created by the system for you. You, you can just go and edit that particular captive portal uh, as per your requirements. For more information of how to go ahead and edit the captive portal, please watch our video of uh, designing the captive portals. Uh, once this is done, uh, your third party device is ready to authenticate with our YOS cloud. You will have to get some important information from these settings to configure in your respective gateway. For example, the portal URL has to be copied over from here and added to your um, Microtech configurations. Similarly, uh, you will also have to add the NAS identifier and then the shared secret for your network and configure those settings in your respective uh, third party devices. To do that, you can go and edit the network and you'll have to copy these settings over uh, into your, into your uh, configurations for the third party gateways. Once uh, uh, for, for your respective third party gateway, you can go here and look at the uh, video or, or the user guide for configuring the third party uh, gateway devices. Uh, with this, you, uh, this completes the configuration of a third party uh, devices like controllers or access points with our wireless cloud. Uh, feel free to watch other uh, training videos on our YouTube channel.